Hey guys! Sorry it's been a minute since I've updated. Um, there's just been stuff going on. Like, my, my parents came into town last weekend, and well, my dad and my stepmom, and um, just some things happened with some of my husband's, some of the guys he works with, and so it's just been a really, it was a really bad week last week, and well, my parents coming, that was a good thing, but before that wasn't so good and it was just a really long week <clears throat> and um so that's why I haven't made a video yet but um my parents left now it was a long weekend for them and so that was nice to see them and everything but they're gone and I finally have a minute to do a video again and um excuse my location today I'm sitting in our bed because I have a really bad headache and kind of feel like crap so I'm just gonna hang out today but, there's nothing really too exciting to report at this point. Um, I have no idea if I've ovulated or not yet. I'm guessing no, because I never have this early in my cycle since I've gotten off the pill. So, I'm thinking no. Um, but that's fine. We still have time. But, one thing that's maybe a good sign is that I do have a really bad headache which sucks today, but usually I get one before I ovulate and then again before I start AF. So maybe it's a good sign. And that's something my hormones are going crazy and they're like, hey, we're going to give you a headache and it's going to suck for a day, but totally worth it. So hopefully that's what that means and, um, and it's a good sign for us. But I actually have a question for you guys too. Um, I've noticed this maybe the past couple cycles I think but I didn't mark it in my fertility friend app so I'm kind of frustrated because um, I'm super super nauseous today and I tend to get a little nauseous if my headache is bad enough and last night it was really bad to the point where I like, couldn't open my eyes hardly and that's usually when I'm nauseous but even today I my head still hurts but it's not near as bad and I still just feel so nauseous and I didn't know if you guys ever get nauseous around um, when you ovulate, because I've heard that some people do, just because your hormones change. So I didn't know, you know, if you guys do, do you get it before, during, after, you know? Because I don't really remember when I was getting nauseous. I think it was before on the other months, but I'm not sure. So I just kind of wanted to see what happens to you guys, or if you get that at all. Or maybe I'm just weird. I don't know. But yeah, so that's about it that's going on TTC-wise. Nothing crazy, just we're kind of doing our thing right now, and hopefully y'all maybe know if I ovulate before he leaves or not, but I've just, at this point, I'm just trying to spend my, as much time with him as I can, and, you know, enjoy our last little bit of time together before he leaves, and um, hopefully that works out. But if not, you know what? He'll be back before too long, and we'll just have to keep trying. But yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a really good day, and I've been trying to catch up on everybody's videos that I've missed the past week or so, and I've caught a few here and there, but I'm trying to catch up on everybody's videos and see what you guys are all doing, and um, I don't know if I've seen too many people's updates after they've had their IUIs, because I know there was like three people getting their IUIs like two weeks or so ago. So I'm really anxious to see all of your videos on what happens and all that kind of stuff, and I hope everybody's having really good luck with everything they're doing right now and all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, okay, hold on, I want to show you guys a picture. I'm such a knucklehead. Okay. So this, this picture, it's my husband and I. Look how little we are, we're so little. Excuse my chip nail polish, I need to paint them. So this picture happened, I was, I was 18 there. He was 21, something like that. He was gonna deploy the next day. And I still lived in Ohio at the time. And um, I decided that I was gonna fly down to see him his last day in the United States. So I got a plane ticket out at 6 a.m. And I was in Georgia visiting him for eight hours that day and then flew back home to Ohio because I had school the next day and a job that I had to work at. 
So this is at the airport when I was coming home after visiting him for that eight hours. And it was the best eight hours of my life because I got to see him just for that little bit of time. And let me tell you what, that was important. But I always keep this by my bed because it just reminds me of, you know, this, is, this isn't long after we met. I think it's about two months after we met. And um, just reminds me of the good old days. You know, we were little and crazy and in love. Not that we're not now, but you know, I don't know, good times. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, I'm going to leave now. This is probably a long video. I'll see you guys. Bye.